I'd like to welcome you to the, uh, the technology booth here at ConExpo 2020. Um, what you're in now is uh, what we call uh, the CAT command. Okay. Uh, this is a remote control technology that uh, Caterpillar is developing, but we're bringing it more down into the construction industry's uh, products. Okay. Uh, what you see in front of you here is what we call the command station. Okay. We have the user in the command station. The top screen that you see is a sight camera. Okay. This could be a uh, camera that the customer puts up, or it could be a camera, a security camera that we can ad adapt to, plug into. Okay. The screen down here is the actual machine. This is real time. Okay. So the machine has, this is a track type tractor, this is a D6XE. It has four cameras on top of the cab. So you have the front view camera, the rear view camera, and the left and right. And as you can see, the left and right have been stitched together because the most important thing to see on a tractor is the blade ends, okay? So you can see the material flowing around, okay? The screen that you see here, this is a touch screen. You can start the machine, stop the machine, use all implements that you would do if you were actually in the machine physically, okay? On this side, we have CAT grade. So this is the grade technology that we have on the tractors as well. And what it does, it assists the user uh, to you know, cut a fine grade down to around about three millimeters, okay? Um, they can program it, they program the depths all from the station. Okay, there's no need at all to get on the machines now. Okay, everything can be done from here. Machine parameters, you can check on the actual uh, screen there. And as I said earlier, you can start, stop, uh, from here as well okay so a very very comfortable environment now this station itself is a universal station okay and what I mean by that is this station will be able to operate many machines within construction industries so you so we can operate from here the tractors wheel loaders excavators and as we progress we'll be able to bring more and more product in over the next few years okay the pedal arrangement that we have is again is a universal pedal arrangement because if we're operating different machines we have to try and have a pedal arrangement that suits those machines as well okay so there was a lot of development work in, in the pedal arrangements just to have something where the operators the users were comfortable okay with the with the pedals as well safety features on the on the command station so on this side we have the big red button which we call the e button okay so if the user was operating the, the machine, something went wrong, he hits the red button, the E button, the machine stops. Okay? We also have a fire ext extinguisher uh, switch. So the dealer can install retrofit uh, fire extinguishers onto the machines as well, connected into the RC system. And if, there was, if, the, op if the user actually saw any smoke coming from the machine, he can flick it and activate the fire extinguisher from the station as well okay we also have the hydraulic lockout and the park brake on the side here okay another feature uh, of this station as well we can plug in up to five machines okay there can be different types what we have plugged in today is the d6 which you see on the screen today and also the 926 m which is the small wheel loader okay and what we'd like to try and show you is you know Jeff is operating this machine this machine is in uh, Peoria Illinois okay and Jeff may have a job to do in Clayton okay so what he's going to do now he's going to switch over to the machine in Clayton okay and then operate that machine so he'll switch over now I'll switch on the the, the camera So what's happening now is the system is now switching to the new machine, okay, that Jeff is picking. So it's coming up now. A little bit of a delay. There we go. So now Jeff has connected to the, the machine in Clayton. This is a small wheel loader, 926. Okay. He activates the machine and then the machine starts up and he can control it from one user. Okay.
when he switches over as well the actual display on the touchscreen will switch to what the machine has inside it as well okay so it's like for like okay but as you can see that was around about five seconds to switch over in two different states within the US okay we have run machines um, from Malaga Spain we had a station in Malaga Spain and the machine was actually in Tucson Arizona which is 9600 kilometers away and the latency there was around about 140 milliseconds which is more or less real time a human can't actually feel 140 milliseconds the latency that we have here is around about 100 milliseconds okay the system that we have it's run by Wi-Fi okay it's what we class as non line of sight so the command station is non line of sight and what that means is basically you can't physically see the machine capability is up to 400 meters but my eyes can't see 400 meters so you know but what this is good for if you're doing some integral work or if you're working on a face it's good to get back from the face but still be able to see what's going on okay this is a direct link to the machine the machine has a receiver it has a RFI code uh, switch in here which links directly to that receiver okay so this can only operate one uh, machine okay but very intuitive it has a little display on here as well gives you all the vital machine information and then you can move it around okay just like a remote control car okay but the same like sequence same safety features apply to this if I was to trip and fall over okay this system would recognize that and it would stop the machine okay it also has an e-stop here okay so if I hit the e-stop now it will stop the machine as well and then there's a sequence to beep back in again okay but very very simple system very easy to use you can control engine rpm hydraulics park brake everything you would do if you were in the machine or if you were in the station okay so that's cat command <laughs>